My name is David Trubshaw, I work for the Environment Agency in our Asset Standards and Engineering team. We are uh, near Antwerp in uh, Belgium, so today I'm here to uh, help with this Polder 2 Seas project which I've um, been asked to be a part of. So in particular today I've been asked to come and have a look at the, the levee, or as we call embankment, uh, and to get a sort of baseline of where that is. So the next part of the of the session will consist of uh, some small presentations uh, from each of the partner about their models. Polder to Seas, a unique opportunity. Climate change is affecting the countries in the Two Seas region faster and to a greater extent than was previously expected. Rising sea level is a serious threat. We can improve our knowledge of how strong our flood defences are. We can improve how we organise our emergency response in practice. We have a shortage of trained water managers. Knowledge is not being transferred from one generation to the next. And we need to increase public flood awareness. Despite Corona, preparations are continuing for the first tests in the Living Lab Head Week Prosper Polder. The kickoff for was organized on Tuesday, October 27th, 2020, for which a special presentation was set up at the border. Good morning. I'm really proud to say that we just started now with uh, the first overflow experiment using the recently developed uh, overflow generator. This is uh, a Hello, Polders to see. Uh, after one hour and 13 minutes, we have completely stopped the experiment. In the past two minutes, uh, the damage evolution has seriously increased its rate and we have created in a couple of minutes, and you see collapse going on, a really big hole with regression of the cliff by several meters. And I will come back to you with the, with the final big bang. So uh, here you have the experiments, if I go to one of them, and so you have a water level at rest. Here you have all the possible data. Hi, this is Davy again. I'm here at the section with the tree. The tree is still standing and actually it has quite a bit more sand around its root system again. So, uh, welcome what everybody we saw... to the Levy Challenge, live from the Polders to Sea project. So my name is Glenn Stripstream from the K. Leuven University in Belgium and we are here live at the Levy Challenge. Okay. The Delft team, ready, three, two, 
one, go! Good morning everyone, we are here at the Sieperdas Hor with the students of the winter school and uh, Ludolf is there in the background. They are going to get into the, uh, the, the mud, the mud flats and collect some data for their winter school exercise. We just uh, decided to adjust the experiment setting a little bit because after 13 minutes of virtually no water flow on the rock bags uh, they uh, did start to subside. Um, so I think we had a marvelous day with a wonderful experience looking forward to do it again but with you. You sitting behind your desk in a chair. You who is going to be in the on the levee after COVID when we've done it. Thank you all, thank you very much and keep you posted.